Now we will go through the actual proposal template document which I use to create proposal documents for some major clients across the globe. I am currently using Microsoft Word application to create this document. Alternatively, you can also use LibreOffice Word app, Pages app in case of Apple ecosystem and other similar document creation applications too. The structure and the details to be shared remains the same as we discussed in the previous section. You are not going to discuss on the contents in this section. Rather, I will take you through some of the mandatory and must have details in any business documents. You can use this as a template for your reference while creating your business documents. In most cases, each company will have their own proposal templates and you can use it or modify to include all the must have information. With that, let's get into the proposal walkthrough. In most of the documents, it starts off with a cover page. As per my template, the cover page will start off with a picture. I normally use a custom picture. Rather, it may be related to a company or the industry they are operating in. In most cases, I will normally go and pick a picture from their website, the company I am proposing, the company where I am preparing a proposal or the industry they are operating in. Say for example, if the company is uh, part of FMCG sector, then probably I will put a picture like a supermarket or uh, something like uh, products available in the shelf. Or if a company is in the telecompany telecommunication sector, then I will probably put a towers, how the you know network is connected so something of that kind. So I normally go and pick those kind of pictures but then it will be custom uh, prepared for them and so that you know we are setting the tone in the first page of the proposal itself. So I normally start off with a picture followed by the logos of ours and the company we are proposing it. The first one will be our logo and the second one will be the company we are proposing the proposal. And then it is followed by the RFP title. If you examine the RFP document, then the RFP document will have its own RFP title along with an RFP number. So I just copy those title and the number and I just go paste it here. Then I will say which type of proposal is this. Is it a technical proposal or a commercial proposal or a techno commercial proposal as like in this case or is it a rough order of magnitude proposal. Whatever the type is, just list it over here and then include the submission date and time. So whenever we are going to submit, when is the date we are going to submit this proposal to the prospects and then follow it by a contact details. So in most cases, these contact details will be uh, the country manager's name and uh, contact numbers or the sales manager name. So whatever as per your company protocol, you can list it those contact details here. Okay. And then I have some interesting sections to share before getting into the details of the documents. Always in all the professional documents include this page borders. So let it be whatever the color it is. I'm not worrying about the color but then include the page borders. It is some of the mandatory things to follow. Include this page borders and then include the headers and footers section. In my case as per my template I normally include the prospects logo as part of the header and our company logo as part of the photo along with the page number. Again, you know the photos so in most of the cases they contain something like all rights reserved or information is confidential. Whatever as per your company protocol you can follow but then the most important thing is you need to have a header and photo. That's the most important thing and also have is have this page borders. So those two are very important things and then also all the business documents will have this section which is document information. So something like a very basic details about who prepared the document, which version it is and who are all the approvers and what is the document history and something about uh, you know the confidential information. So this is our intellectual property. This should not be shared with someone and this is you know again you can modify it as per your company requirements. So this is another important section and then it is very important that each document should have this table of contents section. This is a very mandatory section that each business propose, proposal should have and this is something uh, you can generate it automatically if you are using Microsoft Word. So this 
is something you need to have it in your proposal documents and then I have just the normal sections which I have listed in the PPT. So these are all the general sections which we have already discussed as part of the presentation. So I'm just keeping it through. So here again, you know, I use uh, Times New Roman and Calibri or Arial. So those are all the three major fonts which I normally use. And this is the most common fonts which are used in the industry. But then if your company is using uh, a different font still, it's up to you. Uh, I'm not limiting it, but then uh, these are these three are some of the very common fonts used in the industry practices. So I'm just keeping it true because uh, we have discussed this in detail and what are all the details we need to present it as part of each and every section. So I'm just keeping it true and always, always include a final page. So the final page may include something like your contact details or a thank you note for submitting the proposal for giving us an opportunity to submit the proposal or your digital presence, something like your Twitter address, your LinkedIn address, your Facebook address, your website. But then always include a final page. So that is something very important just to say that the proposal ends with the cover page and I mean starts with the cover page and ends with the final page. So I just, you know, put a random final page, but then uh, again, your company may follow, may have a separate final page, which would have been developed. So always keep in mind to follow those final page in your proposal documents too. So that's it with the proposal walkthrough section and it is available as part of your downloadable sections too.